Welcome back to the Pokemon Fab Five. I am your host, Moonlight Swami, and today I have a very special announcement. It's been in the works for a couple of weeks now, but as you can see by the logo on your screen right there, I am going to be introducing something very, very cool, and it's going to be a lot of viewer interaction, and it will be something that I'll be doing on stream every Friday on twitch.tv backslash moonlight underscore swami. Essentially, what I want to do is I want to do battling. And I wanted to be able to basically introduce to you guys the world of battling through um, a fun method and this way we can face off against each other and even if you aren't facing me, you will still have people to battle. So without further ado, let me introduce to you Team Shock. Basically, Team Shock is an evil organization. And while we have no real world ambitions, this is all for the sake of storyline and for building a community around this. We, every evil team has a mantra, like all the evil teams in video games. And the idea is that you, the viewers, will try to overcome us, as in Team Shock. So, what is Team Shock? What is our mantra? And who are the members? Well, before I get into the mantra, the members, we have myself, four admins, and then we'll have a few other scientists who are other Poketubers and friends who want to. But every single viewer is someone who can be considered a Team Shock grunt or Team Shock member. We have a Discord channel that will be linked in the description below that you can join so you can join Team Shock. Now we're going to be doing something very cool moving forward. Um, I haven't found a good source for it yet but I will be doing something uh, involving a gym type experience, but we're not gonna get there just yet. For now, here is the mantra for Team Shock. Technology is evil. It consumes us and is used to take advantage of those who are both less fortunate and, bo and less capable, i.e. Pokemon. Big businesses abuse their consumers and in turn result in the unfair treatment of countless creatures in this world. Team Shock is here to fix that. We are here to change the way that the world has been run in the past. We will overload and destroy the internet, power plant, and any source of electricity, and then redistribute technology to those in the world who are deserving. Whether it be Pokeballs, computers, anything, we will dictate who is allowed to use that based on the merits of those deemed worthy. That is the idea behind Team Shock. That's why we have the logo. We are Team Shock. We are here to electrocute or to shock, um, to overload the technology out there and to shock the world and change it with our vision. So it's similar to what other evil teams have done, just in a different way. So, with that being said, let me introduce you to the four admins alongside myself. We have Biddle, aka Admin Amp. We have Lynx, aka Admin Static. We have Frost, aka Admin Jolt. And we have Thomas, aka Admin Weber. I am Team Shock's leader. Team Shock leader swami simple i'm not going to have a an acronym or something along those lines uh i am just me i am the leader of this evil organization and basically now that we've established what the evil organization is let's establish the battling parameters so first and foremost um, when we get into it on Twitch, there will be links so you can add me. You can just uh, use a command and you'll be able to pull up my friend code so you can add it. But what we're going to be doing is each team compiles six Pokemon. And now the requirements for those Pokemon I'll get to in a minute. When we get into the battle screen, it will be normal. So every Pokemon will be set to level 50, whether they're lower or higher. They'll be set to level 50. And the idea is that instead of selecting all six Pokemon, we will select four of those six Pokemon that we bring to that uh, battle screen. 
So it's essentially a 4v4 battle similar to that of normal gym battles and things of that nature. Now, for all my admins and for all viewers, here are the requirements. You are not allowed to use any Pokemon above the OU tier. So Ubers are banned. You are not allowed to use a Mega Evolution. And you are not allowed to use any Legendary Pokemon. Those are the basic rules. On top of that, there are other bans that we'll get into. Uh, some Z-moves are banned. You are allowed to use Z-moves. Um, you cannot use duplicates of Pokemon, so um, you can't have like two Porygon 2s. You can't have two... Uh, you can't have a Porygon 2 and a Porygon Z. So Species Clause applies, things like that. Um, anything from normal Smogon rules applies. And then the added rules that we have. As for myself, I am allowed to use a Mega Evolution, and I'm also allowed to use a Legendary Pokemon. Now you might ask, why? Why am I allowed to use those things and you aren't? Well, first and foremost, the battle against the evil leader is never supposed to be easy. That's the first thing. But secondly, the battle is supposed to... You guys have the information where you can counter team against me. Where I have no idea what Pokemon you're bringing, but for me, you guys, once you see one battle or two battles, you'll see everything that I have. You won't see the moves because I'm not going to show the bottom screen. But you can extrapolate what the information is for each of those Pokemon and go from there. So, basically, that's the concept. That I need a little bit of that step up because you guys have a massive advantage over me just because you know what my team is. It's like a Cerebi guy. I have no idea what your team is going to be, but you have a complete idea what my team is going to be. Now, there is one thing that I will note. I have two different teams. And the way that we start things off is you'll be facing my first team. And that first team is going to be good, but it will not include a legendary Pokemon. It, it won't. It's basically like when you face an evil boss for the first time. Or, you know, later in the game, but for the first time. So before the events transpire where you get where they get the evil Pokemon and you have to thwart their plan for the last time. Well, if you beat me and you beat my admins, then you get the opportunity to face my secondary team. And if you get that and you beat me again, then you will be added to a list of people who are special and you can get your own special chat and among other things. Um, you'll be on a list to get a special reward. Um, like I said, I'm working on that. But that basically describes everything about Team Shock that I can think of as of right now. Basically, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday night on twitch.tv backslash moonlight underscore swami. I will be accepting battles from you guys, and we will be battling with these parameters. All the rules are on Twitch, so you can look them up um, using the codes, using the commands uh, exclamation point ban list, exclamation point Z bans, exclamation point, uh, I believe, rules, among other things. So um, I'll make sure to put all those things on the screen for you guys when I do this in post-production. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really excited to introduce Team Shock to you guys and to have all of this start working. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I cannot wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Moonlight Swami, and I'll be seeing you guys on Friday. Peace.